All right, folks, we're going to talk today about uh, parallel lines, transversals. You should all have this from your notes. Uh, you should have picked it up before you left class. Hopefully yours still has this corner. I managed to tear mine off, but that won't affect anything. So uh, when we're done with this, we're going to fold this and cut these little seams right here. These will fold there and we'll fold here and we'll cut there and there and there and there and you'll be able to open these up and see these little things about corresponding angles and same side interior and all these other things. So, all right, first things first, the transversal. The transversal is a line or a line segment. Alright, is a line or a line segment that intersects a pair of lines at two distinct and separate locations. So the transversal, I will use a straight edge. If I can grab a straight edge, let's see. Oh, my ID, my ID is a straight edge. So that'll work. When all else fails, always know your ID is a straight edge and you can use it in a pinch. So, hello, get off there, there we go. There's my ID, there we go, there's a straight line. This is our transversal, this thing right here. Now, if the, uh, when the transversal intersects a pair of parallel lines, then the angles that are created have special properties depending on what type of angles they are. Okay, So one of the first types is the alternate interior angles. The alternate interior angles that are uh, are angles that are on opposite sides of the transversal and inside, sorry my pen is running out of ink, inside the other two lines. The other, uh, it's inside the other two lines. So here are your alternate interior angles. Now I'm going to use different colors. I really recommend you do the same. I have four different colors here. Uh, you're going to need four different colors at some point in time on this. So the alternate interior angles, angles that are inside these two lines, but on different sides of the transversal. So not this one and this one, because that would be a linear pair. We've already talked about that kind. We're talking about this one and this one. That's a set of alternate interior angles. And there's another one, this one and this one. They're inside the two parallel lines, or inside the two lines, and one is on the left side of the transversal and the other is on the right side of the transversal. One's on the left side, one's on the right side. This is the right side, that's the left side. Anyways, you get the idea. Different sides of the transversal. The orange goes with the orange, the green goes with the green. Now if the two lines, these two lines, if these two lines are parallel, if they are parallel, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. They would be the same angle measured. This would be 110, this would be 110. This would be 70, this would be 70. Okay? They would be, these would be the same thing, and these would be the same thing if these two lines are parallel. All right, the alternate exterior angles are angles that are on opposite sides of the transversal and outside the two other lines. So I'm going to use two other colors on this one. So they're outside these two lines. So it's either going to be this angle, this angle, this angle, or this angle and they're on opposite sides of the transversal. So one's going to be on the right, one's going to be on the left. So this one would match with this one. Alternate, meaning one's on the left, one's on the right. Exterior, they're both outside these two lines. Okay, These two lines here, they're outside of them, not inside. 
Inside was the uh, alternate interior. These are going to be alternate exterior. My other angle is going to go right here. And that one broke. Well, that's what I get. We're using super old map colors. Let's see if I can just get that piece to draw. Sure can. It still works. That and that. Alright, so those are alternate exterior, and these are alternate exterior. Same thing if the other two lines, if these two lines are parallel, then the alternate exterior angles are congruent. Okay, this blue and this blue would be the same. This, I have no idea. Purple-violet thing and this purple-violet thing would be about the same. All right, coming up here to this one, the corresponding angles, corresponding angles that are on the same side of the transversal, and one will be inside, one will be outside of the two other lines. All right, so here's how this works. Uh, here are, you know, I'm going to use a different, let me use that other pen instead of that maroon color, that purple color. So, uh, here we have this blue and this blue. These are corresponding. Okay, do you see that if you just look at this intersection here, how that one's in the top left, it corresponds with that one in the top left. Okay, those are corresponding angles. These are corresponding angles. This one would correspond with this one. And these would be corresponding angles. This angle would correspond with this angle. And then these would be corresponding angles. This one corresponds with this one, of course. I guess I will be trying to use this little bitty map color. Hang on. This one goes with that one. There we go. Sorry about that. So these things correspond. You know, this one's in the bottom left. This one's in the bottom left. This is in the top right, top right. They're corresponding. If the other two lines, if these two lines here, if they are, again, parallel... then the corresponding angles are congruent. Now, we've said that three times now. Parallel congruent, parallel congruent, parallel congruent. That's not going to happen again, just so you know. So same side interior angles are angles that are on the, well, G. They're called same side, so I would imagine they're on the same side of the transversal and inside the other two lines. They're interior, so they're inside. So they're on the same side of the, uh, the transversal and they're inside. That could only be these right here. This one and this one, our same side interior, and, or we could say this one and this one are on the same side of the transversal and inside these two lines. There's that set, the orange set, and then there's this side of the transversal and in between these two lines, so the green set. And then uh, the rest of this, if the two lines are parallel, then the same side interior angles are not congruent. They are actually supplementary. means they equal 180 degrees. All right. These equal each other. Equal each other. equal each other. Okay, and if you look, you can kind of see that. This angle looks like it's the same as that angle, and that angle appears to be the same as that one. 
This one and this one both look like they're the same, and these two look like they're the same. And on this one especially, this blue one looks like that blue one, and this purple one looks like that purple one. I mean, they match so well. But this one and this one, the colors match, but that angle doesn't match. They don't look like they're the same size. In fact, looking at this, it appears this is obtuse and this is acute. Okay, this looks like it's more than a, a 90 degrees and this is less than 90 degrees. It is. These two things add up to be 180. This one might be 115 and this one would be 65. I don't know. I'm saying these two would add up to be 180. Alright, coming down to the last little one here. It says same side exterior angles are angles that are again on the same side of the transversal. And outside because they're exterior angles outside the other two lines. So we have the same side of the transversal, so this side, but outside of the, tra of the uh, other two lines. So it's these two angles here. This one and that one. And if we look at that side of the transversal, outside of the, tra the uh, two parallel lines, it's this one and that one. Okay, if the two lines are parallel, only if these two lines are parallel, the same side exterior angles would then be supplementary. They would add up to be 180 equals 180. All right, so that is it for these. You're going to fold these. Um, let, Wait and see what your teacher actually wants you to do. My kids are going to fold them. They're going to cut here, 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 and here, and glue this in their notebook. Okay, but that is my prerogative. Your teacher may have something else to say. Anyways, hope that helps, and good luck to you.